so we were herping and we finally found a Cuban tree frog. Uh, their scientific name is Osteopilus centralis. They are part of the Hylidae family, which is tree frogs, and they are an invasive species here down in Florida. So to identify a Cuban tree frog, they're very easy. They're very, very large than native tree frogs here in Florida. They have very large toe pads, as you can tell, and their eyes, unlike most tree frogs, they're horizontal, much like a goat rather than circular as you see in red-eyed tree frogs and such. These frogs most likely got here from people transporting goods from Cuba. They probably hitched a ride on boats when people were coming over from like bringing trees, plants, food, things like that. These frogs are negative to the environment, not only because of how much bigger they are than the other frog species here in Florida. Um, they eat a lot more, they breed a lot faster, they just outgrow them in any, in every way, basically. Abiotic factors for these frogs are very positive here in Florida, which is why they were able to establish so well. It's very moist and humid here year round, basically, um, giving them perfect time to breed, perfect location to breed. They have all the space they can and they're taking it over to the other native species that are here. So one of the biggest negative factors that these frogs have is that they're bringing diseases over from Cuba that are threatening species that are in Florida. Um, they can't have the resistance that these frogs have and they are a carrier species for certain diseases. The other frogs are already susceptible to quite a few diseases right now, such as Perkinsia, which are killing off a lot of frogs. When you do find Cuban tree frogs in the wild, you are supposed to take them out of that area and humanely euthanize them. Uh, you'll be doing everybody a favor for that fact, and you'll be doing the native frogs a favor for that fact, even though it's something so small and it can create such a large impact. <laughs>